Once, there lived a wise old man. He was in a higher position in the village he lived in. Everyone respected him and his opinions. Many people came to him seeking his advice. But his son was very lazy and he often slept for many hours, even in the daytime or he spends most of his time with his friends. Any advice given by his father or any other wise person, made no difference to him. Years passed by the same way. So the wise man's worry is now increasing, as he worries about his future. The wise man understands that he has to do something in order to make his son on the right path, so that he can take care of his family in future, so, the wise man called his son and said, My son, you are young now and you have to learn to take responsibilities. You are intelligent enough, you can understand life and take care of the family, I really think you need to find the real purpose of your life. And once you find it, never forget it, as it will give you a life which is full of happiness and joy, he then gives a bag to his son. The son opened it and was surprised to see it, because inside it, there were four pairs of clothes for each of the four seasons, the bag also has some fruits or food and some money with a map in it, further, the wise man said to his son, I have put a map in this bag, which will take you to a place where treasure is hidden. You must go there and find it. After listening to this, his son's eyes wide opened and for the first time he loved any idea of his father, so, the son got ready immediately for the journey towards treasure. The journey was not easy, as it was very long and even full of forests, mountains, rivers and even some borders. Soon many weeks passed by. In his journey, he was helped by many people with food or for shelter for the nights. Sometimes, he met with robbers or bad people too. He met with all types of good and bad people. Weather also started to change now. So he makes his travel accordingly. After many months, he reached his destination, which was a cliff. According to the map, the treasure was below the cliff and under a tree. After reaching near the tree, he starts to dig the ground. He searched everywhere around it, near it, but did not find anything there. He digs for the whole day but finds nothing. He spends the whole night there under a tree. The next day, he was so exhausted that he decided to leave now. He was very disappointed because of his father's lie. So after asking him, he started returning towards his home, on his return journey, he was very angry, but after a few days, he started forgetting it as he found enjoyment in spring and rainy season with flowers. Rain or birds. He was enjoying his journey. He learned to hunt or to make arrangements for his food or clothes. He learned how to shelter himself or how to make his clothes clean. He learned how to protect himself from robbers or wild animals. In his return journey he met again those people, who helped him previously and he helped them in some ways now because he realized how nice they are, when he reached home, almost a year passed by. He went to his father. Father asked how was your journey, my son. Did you find the treasure, the son replied, the journey was extremely interesting but I wasn't able to find the treasure. Please forgive me, he wasn't angry with his father. In place he was asking for forgiveness. The father said, there was not any treasure there for my son. Then why you sent me there, son asked, the wise man asked, firstly you tell me all about your journey. The son said, I did not enjoy my journey towards treasure because I was in such a hurry for treasure that I did not notice anything, but yes, I really enjoyed my journey back home. With the help of many good people, I learned many new things, new art of survival. Actually, I forget all about treasure. The father said, yes my son. I wanted you to learn that. The goal of our life is very important but if you only keep viewing your goal then you will miss many treasures of this beautiful life. So friends, goal and purpose of our life is very important, but at the same time we need to experience and enjoy our life and our surroundings too, 